What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Infinite Achievement Guide. This time we're doing part two of our all collectibles walkthrough. This is going to take place on the lockdown segment of the map. This section of the map includes the Tower, Fob Foxtrot, Fob Golf, Ransom Keep, among other things. And this section includes five armor lockers, 15 audio logs, eight Spartan cores, five propaganda towers, two skulls, and two artifacts. So let's get started. To start off, I'm here at Fob Foxtrot, but let's work our way from the top down. So let's go to the top right and get this Spartan Core first, and we can work our way south from there. So I hit the tack map and then put a nav point on that Spartan Core, so I could just run at that nav point to make it a lot easier to navigate. So I'm going to do that for most of the things here. So we're going to go over here, and you're going to find that the Spartan Core is sitting right up against the edge of the cliff here. So open that up, and then the next thing we'll grab is our first skull, and this is on top of the tower, all the way on the roof. So... Get your grapple ready because it takes a little bit of time to grapple all the way up there. And again, I just added a nav point to it so I could just run straight at that and not really have to think about it too much. You don't really have to know the map that well. Just run straight at that icon and that is where the skull will be because we put that nav point right on the skull. So just run up this uh, strut and then just kind of grapple up. I sped it up a little bit. But once you get to the top, just go to the middle of the, uh, the roof here and you're going to find it sitting on this crate. This tiny crate. And there's your first skull found in the open world section of the campaign. I was surprised they put him in the open world because it's so massive. It's ridiculous trying to find these things. It's a real big map. But anyway, we're going to go into the back left corner section of this uh, tower. You don't really need to go to a specific spot. I just need to get to the back of the base here, the back of the tower, uh, all the way at the bottom. So I'm just dropping down, uh, and I'm trying to avoid falling into the bottomless pit there. But we're just going to go to the back side of the tower, and underneath it, in the back, there is a locker, so we're going to grab that. So now that I'm here, I'm just going to kind of use that scan function, and it'll highlight it, so you can see it right here. We'll open this up, and we will get our first locker out of the way for this section. From there, we're going to head towards the gravity lift to go into the tower, but we're not going to go into it just yet. We're going to go across to the other side of the underside of the tower, and you are going to find a Spartan core sitting in one of these smaller buildings over here. So use that scan function. You can see through walls, and it highlights... Spartan cores and audio logs, very useful for searching for all these things. So you can see it's right here. We'll open that up, and now we will go into the uh, the lift here, the grab lift. There's a couple items up here. There's a Spartan core and an audio log. So the audio log is actually going to be the first thing that pops up. So it's going to be on the second floor. So go up this ramp, go up to the second floor, and then wrap around, and you could still just ping that scan function, and it'll light up as you're wrapping around the second floor here. Very easy to spot. And of course, as you get closer to the Spartan cores and audio logs, you could hear them beeping, so that helps you out too. So this is the audio log. We're going to go to the third floor now and do the same thing, just kind of wrap around and use that scan function, and you'll find the Spartan core sitting here. Now we're going to jump down out of the tower, and we're back down below. We are going to go towards the front of the base here, the front of the tower, and there's going to be a data pad in one of the buildings up here. So we're going to just hit scan, and then you can see that there is something highlighted in here and it's the first banished data pad that we're going to grab so grab that to the southwest of the tower is a spartan locker so we're going to grab that put a nav point on it and run in that direction we're going to find it sitting up against a rock over here and then the next audio log is nearby as well and i kind of got turned around i got a little lost i forgot where it was exactly so i actually went uh, in this direction and then i found that it's actually towards the right so i went towards the cliff and then if you just hug the cliff and just run uh, to the right, you'll find the audio log. Uh, so I, there's definitely a shorter path you could take, but uh, it's over here. So just follow where I went if you really want to. Or you could just go directly to the audio log instead of taking a big loop. But now we are going to go to Fob Foxtrot. So you could go there manually by just walking there, or you could use the fast travel function. So I'm going to use the fast travel. Now I am sitting here, and on all of these fobs, these forward operating bases, there is a data pad somewhere on the platform here. So this one is here grab that and then the next one is actually a little bit towards the tower if you go from foxtrot to the tower you can see in the distance there you're going to fall into a riverbed and when you do that you want to turn left and then go in that direction you're going to find an audio log so here's the riverbed there's a little bit of water towards the right but to the left it's dried up we're going to go in that direction and there's going to be the audio log as promised right up here jump down a little too far but here it is right by this dead marine grab that and we'll go to the next item which is going to be a Spartan core kind of out in the middle of a field. We'll set a nav point and head in that direction. It's going to be amongst a few trees uh, up against a rock here, and there's a bunch of banished drop pods as well. Sometimes there's actually live enemies here, 
but right now there is not. So we're going to grab the Spartan Core, and we're going to continue in this direction. We're going to jump back into that same uh, river, actually, that we were for that audio log we just got. It's another Spartan Locker, so add a nav point and then head in that direction. There were some enemies nearby for me, so if that's the case for you, just take them out, and then you could easily grab that uh, locker just sitting in the river here for us with some birds nearby. But open that up, and we will go to the next item, which is going to be a propaganda tower. So we'll mark that with a nav point. And this one is not quite in the river, but it is nearby the river, so we're going to get out of this riverbed. We'll climb up, and then we'll head in that direction to the first propaganda tower in this section, and we're going to blow it up. You can see I was distracted for a second by that firefight that's happening towards the left behind me now, and uh, that is a separate objective that has nothing to do with collectibles, so we'll be covering that in a separate series. So we took out the propaganda tower, we're going to ignore the UNSC forces uh, under duress here. You can see that's Cayman Squad, but we're going to totally ignore them. And their cries for help, we're going to go right past them to that propaganda tower. And on my way to the tower, while ignoring those Marines, I found a handy ghost. So this will allow us to move around the map faster. And I could use this to take out the propaganda towers as well. So I'll just aim at the vulnerable core of this thing. Uh, it takes a lot more damage when you hit that interior orange glowy part. But unfortunately, we're going to leave the ghost here because we're going to go to the top of a mountain, and it's tough to drive a ghost up there. So we're going to just grapple away all the way up the mountain. And eventually, once you get to the top uh, central area of this mountain, you're going to find this big ring with the glowing blue lights around it. So that's the one you want to go to and scan it, and that will unlock uh, a Forerunner audio log, which is pretty interesting. So we just fast-traveled to Fob Golf down here. And like I mentioned at Foxtrot, every single Fob has a data pad on it. So... Bob Golf is no different. Grab this one, and then there's actually another one really close to it. If you listen closely, you could actually hear it. It is over in this direction, and if you just hit that scan function, you'll be able to see it light up over here. So we'll grab this one, and I called it a data pad. I've been doing that a lot. They are audio logs. If you hear me say data pad, I just mean the audio logs. But this next audio log is found between Boxer Squad and the ring on top of the mountain we just got. So that Foreigner Artifact. And it's about the same elevation as Boxer Squad too. so you don't want to go up towards that uh, Foreigner Artifact. That's too high. But from Fob Golf, we do have to climb up a little bit. We do have to get to the level of Boxer Squad. So we're just going to get to this level, and then once we do, we're just going to hug the wall that if we climbed, we would get up to the Foreigner Artifact. So we're just going to stay down here on this level, and you'll find it up against the rock wall here and you can see when you open up your map it looks like you're on top of the mountain but you're actually right along the side of it so when you actually move your camera up a little bit you'll see that your little green arrow is not actually on top of the mountain it's right next to it but anyway i fast traveled back to foxtrot and put a nav point on the nearby propaganda tower so we're gonna head over here now and blow this up this one is actually fairly well hidden behind some trees so if you're far away you may not be able to uh, actually see that there's a propaganda tower here but there is trust me there is we're gonna blow it up and there will not be a propaganda tower here any longer. So now we will activate our tack map, and we will put a nav point on a nearby Spartan core, and we will head in that direction, and we'll open that one up too. So once we get there, you're going to see that it's in the wreckage of a crashed pelican, and there's actually some enemies here for me, so be prepared to fight some people. I don't know if they're going to be there for you, but uh, I actually killed some of them, and then just jumped on the Spartan core, opened it up, and now I'm just going to run away. But you can see south of me is a Spartan locker, so we're going to put a nav point there, and head in that direction. This one is going to be a little tricky for me, at least. I thought I was right on top of it, and I couldn't find it, so I'm just kind of scanning uh, the area, and I found it over here behind this, uh, this tree. Kind of a hilly area here, so you don't have a direct line of sight to it. But now we're going to head towards Ransom Keep, which you can see in the distance. This is one of the seven banished outposts that are kind of like mini levels. There's a large banished force here, and if you take down all seven of them, there's actually an achievement you get for that. But I've already cleared out this whole area, so there shouldn't be a huge banished force, but there is uh, kind of a small amount of banished that continuously spawn in here, so we're going to fight some people. You can see when I had the attack map open, I was kind of on the northwestern side of the icon that shows you where this base is, so from there we're going to jump down here and we're going to go into the building to my left once I'm done with these jackals. I'm going to turn to the left and there's a banished audio log in here, so be prepared to fight some enemies, especially if you haven't actually completed this outpost yet. There will be a lot more enemies. I, uh, I recommend actually clearing out all the outposts first so it's easier to go in here and grab what you need. And that's especially true for this outpost because the door to this building will be locked until you take out all four silos, which you could see me doing here. So if you haven't already, you want to go around Ransom Keep scanning for these four silos, use the controls to get them to rise up out of the ground, blow them up with grenades or gunfire, and once all four are taken out, the door to this building will open up. So 
all other collectibles in this outpost are out in the open, so you don't need to take out any silos, but for this one you do. And also capturing fobs is very helpful. You don't need to do it, but it allows you to fast travel. And capturing fobs labels some collectibles on your map too. But anyway, we grab that first banished audio log, we're gonna head in this direction and find a second one in this base. Grab that, and there's going to be a Spartan core even further in this direction, in this corner of the base, so grab that. Up there is going to be an audio log, but before we get that, we're gonna get the Spartan core that I was talking about. Grab this, and then we will grapple up to the top here of this rock formation, and there's going to be a bunch of downed trees that got knocked over, and you're gonna find that there's an audio log in here, a UNSC one. So grab this, you'll hear it beeping, and then we're gonna turn back down and go in this direction, and there's going to be kind of a little cave cut out in this area that we're going to uh, walk through. So it's uh, not really a full cave, I don't think, because it doesn't have a roof, but it's kind of a canyon, a very narrow pass, uh, which will have the audio log, the second of two UNSC audio logs. We grab two banished audio logs and a Spartan core in Ransom Keep there. So we're going to activate our map now again, and we'll set a nav point at the top of this little mountain, which is going to have the second of two foreigner artifacts in this area. So we'll grapple up here. We'll do a bunch of grappling. It's pretty high up. But once you get up there, scan that ring, and we are going to activate our tack map once again. Just keep activating that map, and we're going to go all the way across to the east. There's a Spartan core over here. We're going to travel all the way in that direction. I will skip ahead. You'll find it all the way up against the edge of this continent, quote-unquote, this lockdown section of the map. It's almost about to fall off, but somehow it's still there. Next, we're going to tackle another Spartan core, so we're going to go towards the southwest we're going to find a Spartan Core icon right here, so we're going to activate the nav point on that now, and we will travel in that direction and find it similarly in a perilous position. Not quite as close to the edge as the other one, but this is close to a really big gap in the map. Essentially, the southern portion of this continent is split in half, uh, and it starts right here. To my right is uh, a giant trench, essentially, that we're going to go into a little later, but first... We're going to activate our tack map again, and we're going to go for this propaganda tower, which is nice and safe, nowhere near any edges. You can see it's all the way up there. We're going to have to get our climbing gear on again, and we will grapple up. You can grapple up anywhere, really. Uh, I felt like it was safer to grapple up here, so I have something to fall back down to instead of jumping across the giant gap in the map like I was talking about. But we will jump down here, and you can see that there's a bunch of enemies nearby. So we could take it out from far away, or we could jump down and get close and personal dealer's choice there. But from this point, you can see I cleared out this area now, and now there is a destroyed propaganda tower. From here, we're going to look up towards the south of the map, and we're going to find that there's a giant peak towards the right. So we're going to go to that highest point. It's not too giant, but just in relation to all the other surrounding area, this is the highest point. So we're going to grapple up here. We're going to get to the top, and then when we look down, there's going to be an audio log over here, uh, just at the base of this giant peak. So you can see over there was the propaganda tower we destroyed, and now we're on top of this giant peak, and we're going to just drop down. There's going to be an audio log sitting here for us. This was the last one I found, uh, even though it's not the last one in the video here. It's the last one I found in the search for all of these things. So I was very happy when I finally found it. But you can see I put a nav point on the blind skull, and here's the giant trench I was talking about in the southern part of the map here. It's not connected by anything except for this small land bridge, this rocky bridge right here. So we're going to drop down to here, and then we're going to drop down even further. There's rockets right here. There's a BR down below, so drop down to that BR part of the rock, and then we're going to inch our way towards this part. And you can see towards the left, there's a little platform made out of those uh, hexagonal forerunner columns that make up this entire halo structure. When I look to the right, I could see him, but when I look towards the left, my view is uh, blocked by the rocks, but that's the platform we want to jump down to. And then just wrap around this corner, and you'll find the blind skull nestled nicely in here, waiting for you to pick it up. So we're one step closer to being able to turn all the skulls on, on Legendary. Once again, activate that tack map. You're going to find there's a Spartan locker all the way to the bottom right of this area, of this continent, of this whatever it is, this part of the map. We're going to head in that direction, just follow the nav point, and we're going to find the locker after we take out that sniper jackal. We're going to find the locker down here, and we're actually very close to another audio log as well. So once we grab this locker, we're going to get up on top of the area where that jackal sniper was. And right about there is where the audio log is. So grab this Spartan locker, and then from here we're going to go up to that jackal perch. And then we will find on the other side of this area is going to be an audio log. So grab that, and we will activate our tack map yet again. There's going to be a propaganda tower that we want to take out. 
and we're going to take this one out from afar. You could get close to it, but you could actually get a pretty good line of sight to it from far away, so you don't have to go all the way towards it. I'm just going to take it out with my Pulse Carbine slash Battle Rifle combination. And there's just one more audio log to go. It's actually at Starlight Squad's location, so I'm going to tease them uh, with my help here. I'm going to approach the situation and be like, yo, what's up? It's the Master Chief. I'm here to help. And then just grab the audio log and peace out. And you can see this whole area is just basically a bunch of those hexagonal forerunner columns, but one of them has some UNSC debris kind of piled up and acting as a ramp. Under that ramp is the last audio log, and we're just going to grab that and peace out and just leave Starlight Squad to their own devices, see if they can make it out on their own. We are out of here. We'll save Starlight Squad in another video. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys for part three. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.